Hello everyone and welcome to this third tutorial. This will be 1.1.3. Outline compatibility issues resulting from situations including legacy systems or business mergers. So the teacher's notes for this, let me read this out. When organizational when organizations interact, particularly on an international basis, that's a key word, international basis. Uh, there may be issues of software compatibility, software compatibility, and language, and language differences. So, by reading this outline, uh, syllabus statement outline, compatibility issues, that's a key word, resulting from situations including legacy systems or business mergers. So, the, let's define this first, legacy systems. So, what it's a legacy system. This is basically things that are that things left over from the past. That's a legacy system. So in computer systems, we need to support old standards even if they are no longer very useful because some people still use that old technology. And some obvious disadvantages include the cost to man maintain them and sometimes there might not be any tech support for that particular legacy system. So a good example of this is uh, 2000, before 2006, Apple computers used Motorola processors. However, this meant that PCs and Macs were incompatible at the hardware level. So that's a legacy system. Let's look at business mergers. So we come across this term in economics or business. This is when a merger is when two or more uh, similar sized company merges together, joins together to form a bigger one. 2x becomes y. So uh, for this case, there may be uh, data compatibility. As companies store lots of data, possibly terabytes, and more and more containing customer data, uh, let's say financial records, business documents, but they want to keep the data from both of them. And sometimes they might not use the correct software or the correct format to store, because they only want one specific format. And compatibility, yeah, this is defined by the issue of whether two computer systems can function together successfully. Alright, so for from the teacher's notes it says some international differences and time differences in different continents don't disappear so continual data conversation is required. Language differences that's part of international. Uh, language differences may require two copies of data to be stored or two versions of applications to run and different character sets may be required for the two different languages. So our main final summary of this, let me just rub this up, as I have defined the keywords already, compatibility, merge, and legacy system. So our essential thought or the final summary is that the Let's give an example to, to sum it all off. One common example of compatibility issues is OS operating system. Let's say there's Windows, Windows 7, we have Linux, and you have Mac OS X, or Mac, I don't use a Mac, so I don't know, Mac OS. So um, these are sometimes incompatible, but they have similar uh, software or applications that might be able to make these compatible, such as Word, Microsoft Word, but but Microsoft Word itself, they are not the same program on Windows, Linux, Linux or Mac OS. They may be able to exchange word processing documents that are saved in the standard format like RTF, which is rich text format or PDF portable document format but they don't run the same software 
So these are the uh, compatibility issues resulting from situations including legacy, which is old, things left in the past, or business mergers, X, X becomes Y. Thank you for watching and hopefully this tutorial has helped you.